Fica triste. That thing's three and a half inches wide. About seven inches long. Right. We got three and a half. Seven and a half, eight inches. Look how small that print is. Look how wide that gap is. <clears throat> I'm taking a wide stride. Now, look at that. I to come here to my butt. That's a baby. I'm telling you, that's a juvenile. I mean, I don't know any little kids that can run around in mud, sink down that much, keep a stride, and run all over the place. I just had a strange feeling I was being watched. So I thought I'd go ahead and zoom in over there where I think I'm being watched. And see what I see. All right, I'm back at the tracks that I'm researching. You see them? One there, one there, one over there. There's another one right there. It's hard to see, but we're gonna measure it out. We got the left foot. We got the right foot. We got the left foot. So what I'm gonna do, measure the size of the foot. Then we're gonna measure that stride. Now this one would be nine inches. It'd match my wife, okay? That next print's right up over there. We're gonna measure the distance between them. All right, from toe to heel is 46 inches. Now, there's the next one. We're gonna do that one. Toe. And it too is 46 inches. There's the next one. It too is 46 inches. Oh, 46 inches, that's almost four feet. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys one. It's got a way bigger stride, look at this. Yes, here's my stride. One, two, three steps. One, two, three steps again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna measure these out real quick. See the one? You see the second one's right there. Look at that. Alright you guys. There's our print. Here's the that's the left foot. This is the right foot. There's the left foot. There's the right foot. Look at this. <laughs> Toe to heel, 60 inches. Alright guys. 60 inches. Now let's measure the size of the foot. Look how small this baby is. Look at that. How? It's something that small. It's only got three and a quarter inch wide at the bottom and four and a half at the top. Nine inches. Okay. So, we know this one has feet about the size of my wife because she has nine inch feet. If you guys look at that print, then look at that next one. Look how far that is. Three of my steps, you guys. What that small can run and take a 60 inch gap stride. Something's out here having fun. They're playing football or something. This is a perfect football field. I'm gonna walk over here by the water and see if there's anything fresh. All right, guys, I'm going to compare with these boot prints. See that boot print? That's the left foot. Here's the right foot. Here's the left foot. Here's the right foot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Okay, so heel to toe is 16 inches. That's right. And this is a foot my side. It's uh, 14 inches long. So just somebody walking. Don't have no stride that's even 
a third of that, fourth of that. All right, you guys, that series of prints right there, they're all 49 inches apart. Runs all the way across here, and you could tell it was tearing up the mud. Sure was. It was tearing up the mud indeed. Look how deep that print is. Look at the, look at the ball of the foot, you guys. That's what I find strange. It's like a bunch of horses have got on this stuff. But the ball, man, I'm telling you, a small person that small ain't gonna be running around out here in the mud like this. Look at these strides. Look at this right foot here. Look at that left foot way up there. I can't even get close. That's as far as I can stretch. And those prints are smaller than me. Look. All right, you guys, I got two cats of prints. I can already tell by the size of those toes. <laughs> Not normal. Anyway, I wanted to let you guys know that all this, see how this all starts getting brushy? It's like this for a couple miles over to or at least like a mile or something, and something over to Rooks Park and it's all like this so we're going to be coming up and we're going to be investigating this area and I uh, hope you guys like this video I think I got some good evidence today man I'm going to go home and clean these up and we're going to study them and compare them Dixie's foot should be perfect for a comparison on this one people just aren't aware of it the other side a lot of hikers come up here and I'm not gonna say that jogger couldn't have made these prints I'm not gonna say that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go investigate and see if a jogger the size of my wife and nine inch feet can run barefoot with those kind of strides so I'm gonna investigate that maybe I'll even put it in this video This is where the water would have washed all this up. So it would appear. There's a good size one there. Looks like it came up this way. There's more than two nails. I'm telling you, that's a baby squat, you guys. That or some little human being ran around up here barefoot and it's still pretty cold you know oh, i'm not saying that they didn't come up here on a warm day and do it but you guys look at this there's all tree roots and moss Say human looking but I'm gonna say no you can see that hair that it had hair on its feet and look at the size of that toe that uh you know that in the women Olympics of 1984 you could uh, get four foot ten inch strides average out of those women so we know we know from the 1984 Olympics that the average stride in the smaller races, which had the longer stride, was four foot ten inches. I'm pretty sure that's what it was four foot ten inches. Um, I don't know, you guys. Just doesn't look like it's a regular human to me. There are some things about this that just don't look right. If it was a jogger, and a jogger made these prints. We know that at one point they had a five foot stride in the mud. And uh, I found two different size barefoot prints up there. A seven inch and nine inch, seven and a half inch, nine inch. 
Um, after the cameras died and I collected some of that moss up there, you guys, I found a lot more stuff. And as I was going up on the hill, up the other side, and then back across, oh my gosh, I saw some more things that I want to go back and investigate. So, um, bare feet, clear up out of the waterbed, clear up onto the trail, clear up over the grasses, into the grass, over into those trees. And you can see prints with toe marks in them all around there. So, uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, the girls saw a Sasquatch, and now they're believers. They both saw it together in the headlights on a corner, right? It lit up the headlights, and they're going to be telling their stories. Destiny's working on her own film. Uh, Harmony's going to tell her so side of the story, and we're going to show some artwork and compare their artwork and what they saw. So, I got them both to draw what they saw without collaboration. So that's going to help in the investigation and this was in Stevens County near Spokane so all right you guys it's getting it's heating up I might have picked up some girls from my team that I never would have thought would be squatters all right laters